Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are going to make this gorgeous Guzzling Granny baby blanket. To make the Guzzling Granny baby blanket, you will need 800 grams of your main color and a little more than 100 grams of your second stripe and a smudge of your white. This is Saver from Ice Yarns. They are 200 gram skeins. All the details are in the written pattern. You will also need a seven millimeter crochet hook, 17 stitch markers if you're making your blanket the same size as mine, a needle for sewing in your ends, and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. start the Guzzling Granny Baby Blanket, grab your stitch markers, your crochet hook, and your yarn. We're just going to start by making a slip knot any which way you normally do. Shrink that down and pop it onto your hook. Now we're going to chain sets of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now put your thumb on those pretty little V's, the nice part of your stitches. Just roll it gently to the side. We want to be looking right underneath our working yarn for this very first back loop right there. So these little camel bumps, those are our back loops. We want to look for the one right underneath our working yarn. We want to pop a stitch marker into that eighth chain, into that eighth back loop right there. And now chain eight more. One, two, three, and eight. And do the same thing again. Just roll that chain to the side. Look for that back loop right underneath the working yarn and pop a stitch marker into that stitch. So pause the video and keep working along, chaining eight and popping in a stitch marker until you have chained 136 or whatever width you'd like your blanket to be. If you're making a blanket a different size, you're going to want to chain uh, quite a few extra chains, extra sets of eight, because our chain will shrink up quite a bit when we work into it. So make a longer chain than the width of the blanket you want to make. When you have finished your 17 stitch markers or whatever width you're making your blanket, go ahead and chain six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now roll that chain to the side. We want to be looking for that back loop right underneath our working yarn, right there. So that is our first chain. We want to look for the second one, our second chain, the second back loop from your hook. That is where we're going to start our blanket. So into the second chain, the second back loop, just poke that back loop onto your hook and make one single crochet. Just like that. Now we're going to skip three chains, so one, two, three. And for this pattern, for starting out, I'm going to be working into the back loops. That's going to help our blanket look really pretty and finished. So the top of the blanket will match the bottom of the blanket. But if that's hard for you, you can just work in to your chain like you normally do. So skip three back loops, one, two, and three, three of these little camel bumps. We're going to work into the fourth and that is right before our stitch marker. So our stitch markers are here just to help us keep track of our chain. So into the fourth chain, wrap your yarn and make seven double crochets into that very same stitch, just into that back loop. Seven double crochets. There is two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven double crochets all into that very same stitch, just like that. Now we're going to skip three chains again, so three stitches. So roll that chain to the side. The first stitch has our stitch marker in it, or the first chain. So that is one, two, three. 
We are looking for number four, our fourth back loop right there. So into the fourth chain, one single crochet. There, that is one repeat right there. So that was fun. So wrap your yarn again, roll your chain to the side, look for that fourth chain. So we're gonna skip three, one, two, three, uh, working into the fourth. And again, that's right before our stitch marker. So into that chain before your stitch marker, just slide that back loop onto your hook and make seven double crochets. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that is seven double crochets into the same stitch. Now get your chain untwisted. We want to count three more chains. The first one has that stitch marker in it. So that is one, two, three. We want to go into the fourth chain and now we're going to do a single crochet. So one single crochet into the fourth chain, just sliding that back loop onto your hook, one single crochet. So now we're going to skip three chains again, and you can see why these stitch markers are so handy. They're really helping us keep track of where we're going. We always want that fourth chain to be the one right before our stitch marker. So wrap your yarn, seven double crochets into the fourth chain. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there's our seven double crochets all into the same stitch. Now we're going to skip three chains again and work into the fourth. So just hold your chain to the side. We want to be looking for those back loops. The first one has our stitch marker in it right there underneath our work a little bit. So there is one, two, three. We wanna go in to the fourth chain right here with a single crochet. So one single crochet. Skip three chains again, and the fourth chain will be right before our stitch marker, right here. So into the fourth chain, seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now you can pause the video and keep working your way along, doing your seven double crochets into the fourth chain, that one before the stitch marker, skipping three chains and working into the fourth with a single crochet. Repeat that all the way along your chain and I'll meet you when you get closer to the end of your chain. At the end of your row, you'll have four chains left. So you're gonna skip your three, one, two, three, and into that very last back loop right here, we are gonna do four double crochets. So into that last back loop, just slide it onto your hook, four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. So that is the end of row one. To start row two, and every row of our blanket, this is also the repeat. So to start your row, chain one and turn your work into the very first stitch. So you can just kind of trace up that double crochet 
right here. This is your very first stitch. You want two loops of that stitch on the top of your hook. So go in, we're going to make one single crochet into the very first stitch. So that is the start of our row. Now for this pattern, we're going to be doing all of our shells into this stitch right here at the bottom of each valley. So wrap your yarn and into the valley. If you need help looking for that stitch, just pull both sides and you'll see that opening. You want to go right into the center of that stitch, right there, and that'll give you your two loops on the top of your hook. So seven double crochets into the valley. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, all into that same stitch. Just like that. Now into the top of our hill, we are going to be doing our single crochet. So we're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. We're going to work in to the fourth. And the fourth, the stitch of it, is a little bit going down the hill on the other side. So we've climbed up the hill. A little bit going on the down is where you're going to put in your hook. You're going to put in your hook right there. So in to the fourth stitch, or the top of your hill, one single crochet. And now we're going to work into the valley, so just give that a little pull and you'll see where that stitch is. We're going to wrap our yarn and do seven double crochets into the valley. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And just make sure you have seven, especially as you're working on your blanket. So for me, I just put my thumb where that starts, where that fan starts, and I go one, two, three, and I put my thumb in the middle, and I just kind of eyeball that there's four left. So that is faster for me than going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just go, there it starts, there's three and there is four, so that is seven. Now into the top of your next fan or your next hill, right at the center stitch, so you can skip three, go into the top of that hill, make one single crochet. Just like that. Wrap your yarn into the valley, just give that a little pull, into the valley, seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Into the top of your next hill, or the fourth stitch, just pop your hook in, one single crochet into the valley, so give those two fans a little pull. See that center stitch at the bottom of your valley. Wrap your yarn, seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And if yours is scrunched up, that's normal. That's what your pattern's gonna do. It's gonna start getting a nice little texture to it. Into the top of your next hill, one single crochet. Just into that fourth stitch. Now you can pause the video and keep working along, doing seven double crochets into the valley and one single crochet into the top of your hill, and I'll meet you when we get to the end of the row. At the end of our row, we have our fan, so you can still separate that with your fingers to see where your seven stitches are. So after our seven stitches, on this little slope going down, that is our single crochet. 
So you want to go right into that stitch. It's a bit on a hill. You want to put your hook in. Make sure you have both strands of that stitch on your hook. So wrap your yarn to finish our row. Put your hook into that very last stitch just there. Make four double crochets to end the row. There is one, two, three, and four. Just like that. So that finishes row two and the repeat row. Now this is just a sample size, of course, but after you've finished row two, this is going to be the width of your blanket. So it's a good time to get a measuring tape and just measure because that is going to be the approximate size of your blanket. And if you want to change it, now is the time to do it. Now keep repeating row two until your blanket is the height you want it to be. If you want to do the same stripes that I did, I did eight rows of pink, four rows of gray, two rows of white, and then 59 rows of pink, and then I reversed it. So two rows of white, four rows of gray, and ended it with eight rows of pink. So keep going until your blanket is the height you want it to be or until you want to change colors. I'll show you how to change colors right now. At the end of the row that you want to change colors, we don't want to finish that very last double crochet. So I'm going to take that double crochet out. So I've done three double crochets. Now we're going to do the fourth double crochet a bit different because we're going to change colors. So start your double crochet. So wrap your yarn, take off your two loops, but leave those last two loops on your hook. So get your new color of yarn, put a loop long enough to sew in with a needle later. Put that loop on your hook. Hold that tail down with your work, your old tail. Drag your new loop through. Drop your new tail. So now we have two tails to hold along with our work. And do your chain one. Turn your work. You can pull these tails down so they kind of behave a little bit and pinch them along with your work and just do your first single crochet with your new color yarn. Now you can let go of those tails and just keep going with your normal pattern. So that is how you change colors and you can just sew in your tails to the matching color when you're done. Now we're just going to make our top of our blanket match the bottom of our blankets. We're just going to put on this nice little row of single crochet just so our top of the blanket matches the bottom. We have finished with our regular four double crochets into the last stitch. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. So same as we always do, one single crochet into that first stitch. Chain two, one and two. And now into our valley, one single crochet. Chain two, one, two. Into the top of our hill, that fourth stitch, one single crochet. Chain two. Into the valley, one single crochet. Chain two, one, two. And into the top of the hill one single crochet, chain two, one and two. So now you can pause the video and keep working along, doing a single crochet into the valley, one single crochet, a chain two, one, two, a single crochet into the top of the hill, one single crochet, chain two, all the way along your row. So now you can pause the video and keep working your way along, doing a chain two and a single crochet into the valley, a chain two and a single crochet into the hill, all the way along until you reach the end of your blanket. At the end of your row, do your last chain two, one and two, and into your last single crochet, one single crochet, and chain one. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails and you're finished. 
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I would love to see how yours turned out. You can find me on social media. All of those links are in the description box down below. And if you haven't joined or subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click those buttons under this video right now. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay hooked.